This past year, some people, unable to process living through a global event such as the one we are currently in, have chosen to be skeptical. Not content to simply accept the fact that it's something that has happened repeatedly throughout history, suggesting instead that it's all part of one large conspiracy. A conspiracy so vast and secretive that it can only be deciphered by those special few with the skills to unlock the secrets on YouTube or Facebook. But when challenged to explain this conspiracy, the response is always the same. Do your own research. So I did, and you will believe what I found. Those people are not very smart. You see, people who have actually done their research don't answer, do your own research, when asked for proof to back up their claims. They say, here's my research. A subtle but distinct difference. For example, when you visit the doctor because you're not sure if you've sprained your arm, if the doctor tells you that it's in fact broken and you tell the doctor you don't believe them, the doctor does not respond, do your own research. No, the doctor will likely show you an x-ray of your broken arm. The good news is, actually doing your own research for this current global event as a non-doctor, non-scientist is quite easy. You simply need to listen to all the doctors and scientists from all around the world all saying the same thing. On the news, on their personal social media accounts, everywhere. That was my first clue that all this isn't a conspiracy. As anyone who's tried to organize a surprise birthday party will tell you, getting people to agree to all do the same thing at the same time and not inadvertently tell anyone about it is not easy. So to all of the anti-lockdown, anti-mask, anti-vax people who say we shouldn't make fun of them just because they have a differing opinion, I'd say, we're not making fun of you. We're trying to keep you alive. Do your own research.